Vit, do you ever wonder how can you add your own bank account here into Wise? So to get started, I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so we can have a Wise account totally for free. Let's get started by first of all going into the link down below in the description. This might be showing you something like this. Choose the option that says create your account with a sign up. Here I choose the option that says first enter your email address or sign up with a Google, Facebook or Apple account. Once your account has now been created, you can go back into your account into the upper side. So you can verify that your account has no problems with them. So make sure that you have added the, all the statements and the documents so you can see that all the documents should be now added. And of course, to prove the account ownership that all of your documents are totally correct. So uh, now what I'm going to be doing here is to go into the home dashboard and to get started in adding my own bank account. This is a really easily processed. So first things first, once you're logged in, you want to focus into your total balance. Into my balance, you want to make sure that you have a balance available. If you don't have a balance available, you have to worry about it. This is just for making sure that we are not able to send money from WISE into your bank account. But if you don't, you don't have to worry about it. Next time you have money into WISE, you can try it out by yourself. Let's go directly here into the left side. Here have the section that says cards. In this case, this one is not available for us. So you might be interested into this if you are able into your store. If this is able into your country, in my case, this is not for my country. So I'm going to just skip this part. The payments is where you can just start adding requesting payments or sending money for scheduled transfers, direct debits, or to making some requests. And lastly, we can earn a little bit more money when you get started here into once. But today, let's click now into the recipients. Into the recipients, you can see all of the people, the wise tax, the email, the phone, and all the people who you could use to send and receive money, and they could be just imported and added to them. Now, to add a new recipient, I'm going to be choosing the option that says Add Recipient. Here, you wanted to choose the currency you wanted to accept. So, if you have your own bank account, choose the currency that your bank account states. For example, in my case, it would be the Mexican peso. So, I choose this option. And then it's going to be asking you to add the information about the recipient. In this case, since this one is for myself, instead of going for the search into WISE, I'm going to choose the option that says enter bank details. Now, this should be asking if this is for a business or charity, somebody else, or yourself. Choose myself. Here I have the full name of the account holder, the code, which is the C L A V E. And lastly, the CURP. Usually the second code is for a unique registration number for the private persons in the country you're currently living. So this is totally optional, but once you have added this info, hit into the section that says confirm. Once your account details has now been successfully added, you should see that this one should be appearing here into the recipients and here into my accounts. Into my account, choose your recipient account. Here, you should see the option that says account details. So we can see the account holder name, the nickname, the account type, the bank code, the address, and more information. Now here, I wanted to make sure that I do have the primary MXN account. So this is for people who sent directly here into the WISE, checking your privacy settings to make sure details can be found. So now that you have added all of this info, we can start by sending your money. If you have received money here into WISE and you want to send your money directly into this account, choose how much money you're sending and choose what is the actual currency that's going to be receiving. For example, if I send $10, myself, I'm going to be receiving 180 in MXN. So paying with my connected bank account. My bank account has now been successfully connected, so I don't need to do anything else. Let's hit now into continue. Once I have selected this element, here is the confirmation of the payment method. The transfer details I sent exactly, and here I have the fees included. So at the end of the day, you're going to be sending almost $9, and I'm going to be receiving this amount of money. 
So here's the recipient details. Make sure that all of this information is exactly as your banking account details. And here, my money should be now received in seconds. Repeat never, and there we go. And if you hit now to continue the payment, this one should be sending you directly into the confirmation section. Or you can go into the home dashboard and go into transactions. Once you hit into transactions, hit into see all. And to see all, you can see the checkout here where you have the details about the wise fees, what you have received, the received on, the referenced, the transaction number, and the attachment and some notes. This is of course depending if you wanted to check out the bills, the cash, entertainment expenses, and much more. So let's try to check this out and change this for bills and go back into home and there we go. This can be helping you to organize a little bit more about your finances directly here and to WISE. Now lastly, what you need to do of course is to, after completing the verification, you'll see a confirmation that your bank account is successfully linked it. Now you can start transferring money to and from your bank account here into WISE. So guys, that is it. You have successfully linked your bank account here into WISE. Now that you can send and receive money faster and cheaper, you can now start to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips using here the application of WISE. Thank you so much for watching the video guys. See you next time.